James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we're going to be tying a new brand for me, uh, an Eaton tie. Uh, I've got several Eaton shirts. They make a great quality shirt, uh, really nice buttons. I like the fit, a lot of texture in their shirts and layering. Um, but I've never had one of their ties. So I'm tr I have a pretty good tie collection. I'm always trying to bring a different tie every day to you. But I'm also looking for new brands and, and things like that to test out, to give you good, honest reviews on. So I ordered this Eaton. It came in last week. Uh, and it's a very pretty tie. It's purple. It has a lot of geometrics to it, little, little circles, little white circles, black circles, blue circles, a lot of, little t a lot of uh, circles in it. It's a very nice feeling tie. It's got a good luxury feel to it. So it's 100% silk. Um, pretty thick tie as far as texture goes. You know, it's got some texture. It's not as thick as the really thick Isai is. Uh, but it's uh, pretty close. You know, it's very thick. It's definitely a lot thicker than uh, like a Salvatore Ferragamo or something along that line. Um, I'm curious as to how it ties and how it feels. From a price standpoint, uh, this comes in similar to like a Canali, like that middle range uh, luxury brand, uh, you know, $150, $160 range, something like that, versus you're paying, you know, $190 to $200 for Ferragamos and Zinnias. You're paying you know, 220, 230 for SAE, up to 300 for, you know, your uh, Stefano Ricci's, your, your Ketons and things like that. So um, as far as, uh, you know, definitely a bargain in a luxury menswear, even the shirts are very good price, uh, usually uh, $100 or $200 less than the other luxury manufacturers. So let's tie it up see what it looks like. But we're going to be pairing this with just a plain white dress shirt. This shirt has some texture to it. I really like the feel of it. Uh, we're going with a uh, gray suit uh, and a black belt. I'm going black belt buckle today. Let's tie this up and see what it feels like. Now, this is a little bit of a thicker tie, so obviously we have to allow length, as I've explained to you in my other videos, we have to allow a lot of length on the long side for the thicker tie because it takes more silk. The thicker silk ties a tighter knot, pulls more of it up. So we're going to go pretty long here, probably, I'm thinking probably around this range here, and we're going to tie this up and see what it looks like. Let me come in here close. Take the long part of the tie over top, keep everything flat, go underneath and through, come around behind, and then up and over and through, we'll create what I call the checkpoint, which is where we look to make sure we have a good triangle going in. As you can see, I've got a really nice triangle. And, and when you talk about triangle, this is what forms the base for a stubble windsor. So when I do this wrap around this next move, it's wrapping around that triangle. That's how we create a really nice, nicely tied tie. So we got the checkpoint here, looking good. So now we're going to take the, uh, the long part of the tie, we're going to go over the front, up and through, and then we take it down through this little pocket we've just created in that triangle. And we pull that through. Now we hold, we, we adjust, turn around. If you want a dimple, you put your dimple right here. You know, just put a dimple in here and then you can uh, tie around that. Uh, I'm just going uh, regular. So we're going to hold the knot, pull on the long part of the tie to tighten up that knot. Get really nice looking triangle here. Adjust it up by holding the, the knot and pulling the bottom. And now let's tighten this knot up a little bit and get some length on this tie here. And let's check our length. I like the bottom of the tie to come somewhere between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. And it looks like this is coming about halfway down that belt buckle. So that should be about perfect. And we can always tighten the knot up through the day if we need to. Let's put the collar down and see what this looks like. Hey, we did good. Brand new tie. Never tied this brand before. We got it right. First try. That's awesome. So let's uh, adjust this knot a little bit here. Make sure everything's nice and look. I'll tell you what. This tied a really good knot. Um, you know, it's my first Eaton tie. I, I, I can't. I don't have any complaints. It's a good price. Uh, good tie. Good quality. So let's put the jacket on. And the look will be scrolling across the bottom of your screen. Um, on my Instagram, you'll see pictures of the whole outfit as well as pictures of the belt and shoes together. Uh, we're pairing this today with, um, well, I'll go over the pairing with you here in a second. So we have a, we have a gray Zinnia suit, a white Brooks Brothers shirt. We have a purple Eaton tie. We have on a black Salvatore Ferragamo belt with a black belt buckle. And we're, of course, pairing that with my favorite black shoes, which are the, uh, you see the red soles, Christian Louboutin uh, Oxfords. These just have a really nice, classy look. They're going to look great with this belt and belt buckle as well. So we paired all that together and uh, love this look. So I'm now a fan of Eaton Ties. I'm ready for work.